So like Hank said, I'm going to read from The Stray King, which is going to be my first published story. Some things you should know are um, Jack is the main character, his dog Flash is missing, and Brianna Gonzalez, a girl from his class, has also disappeared. Um, and people think that Brianna has been kidnapped. Only one difference between him and Flash. When they drove, his mother let Flash hang his head out the window. Jack leaned further and further until she yanked him back against his seat. He wanted everything the same as his dog. Flash's face drawn taut by the rushing wind, his ears flapping, the spray of foam from his panting tongue. Now Jack panted, dribbling saliva into the hole he dug. Wind stood the hair on his head. He dug and he dug, hunched over, pitching handfuls of dirt between his legs. He tried to think as Flash thought, and when no dog thoughts came, he pounded the ground with his fists. Dig faster, hands. Stay awake, heavy head. He smelled Flash in the yard, the intoxicating musk of kibble and action. The swings rattled together, and in the corner of his eye, a shadow skirted the yard's dark edges. Goose pimples prickled his skin. He saw only his hands and feet. Everything else fell away like the bottom of a pool into deep water. The unseen world challenged his right to kneel and dig. Inky shadows grew ears and snouts. They seeped through walls, gliding on four legs. If he ever came back, Jack would lock him in a car that looped around the block, passing his house without ever stopping. He'd strap the lawnmower to Flash's tail and watch it chase him down the street, blades nipping at his hind legs. He'd fill the holes with river water and dunk Flash into each one with a large crane. If only he were Justin or Avril or even Brianna instead of this ungrateful dog's keeper breaking ground with a signpost stolen from the vigil. He scooped dirt into his mouth. The dirt he dug, warmed by his hands, freshly unpacked from the hole. His face scrunched at its bitterness, hard grit scraping his teeth. Something tickled the roof of his mouth. Poking his fingers through his lips, he removed a worm fragile as a girl's hair. The small yard taunted him. Flower Brianna crept underground, banished to the world beneath his feet. Flash was there too, curled at the end of some tunnel, waiting for Jack to break through, if only he could find the right hole. The ground gave him rug burn. He dug circles without stars. Caliche and creosote stung his nostrils, as if up close, everything was dying. Daylight morphed the animal silhouettes into cactus and trees, the pink-blossomed oleander stepping out of darkness. Jack felt a pit in his stomach like hunger, but not. His missing scissored through the yard, leaving a dog-shaped hole. What if Flash heard his thoughts? If you come home, I won't be mad, he promised. I don't have a car that drives forever. I don't even have a crane. Dogs were supposed to be the loyal ones, the ones who loved blindly, who stayed. Maybe this was all a test, Flash watching and waiting until the bone was found, then bounding from the bushes with an apple in his mouth, making him forget his dirt caked nails, licking the burning pads of his fingers, his face. He did not want to need Flash more than his buddy needed him. Birds flew from the Mexican elders, looping and scattering into the sky. Sprinkler runoff glazed the road through the fence. He thought of disappearing then, the lure of a place that wasn't here.